Welcome, my friends. Now we are discussing the basic properties of the fluids. Uh, fluid mechanics is uh, the study of fluids which are either in motion or at the rest. So when uh, the fluids are in motion, uh, the study will be uh, classified under the heading fluid dynamics or uh, fluid kinematics. When the fluid is at rest, that uh, particular study is classified under the heading fluid statics. So the fluid mechanics is also dealing with the gases and liquids which uh, comes under the category of the fluids. So one of the areas of modern fluid mechanics is computational uh, fluid mechanics uh, that is CFD uh, which deals with the uh, numerical solutions using computers. The fluid mechanics as I said uh, earlier it comprises of the subject fluid statics, fluid kinematics and uh, fluid uh, dynamics. Uh, the basic uh, dimensions and uh, the SI units are uh, listed here. So the dimensions here will be classified under uh, the two headings fundamental dimensions uh, are the primary uh, uh, units that is length, mass and time. So the other uh, dimensions like uh, force, acceleration, velocity, pressure, uh, surface tension, uh, capillarity, uh, viscosity. Uh, so these uh, dimensions will be classified under uh, derived units or the secondary units which uh, uh, are derived from uh, these fundamental dimensions length, mass and time. So the CGS units, MKS units, FPS units and uh, SI units uh, of these dimensions are uh, listed in the table here. So and the uh, suitable uh, conversions uh, are also given here in the table uh, starting from the smallest uh, uh, unit so from nano to giga. So uh, length, so uh, it's a uh, fundamental dimension is uh, L. So and the preferred SI units is uh, meter. So that is small m time t. So the fundamental uh, uh, unit is capital T. So the SI unit is a second. So yes. So mass. So here the uh, fundamental unit is m. So it's preferred uh, SI unit is in kg. Area. So that is uh, taken as uh, uh, length into length. So L square. So its SI units is meter square. Volume. So it is area into length taken as L cube. So this is in meter cube. Velocity V. So that is uh, distance by time taken. So it is L T to the power of minus 1. So it is meter per second. Acceleration is in meter per second square. So the other quantities are also given here, discharge, force, pressure, shear stress, density and uh, other dimensions are given here. So some conversions are given here which will be helpful in uh, solving the problem. Now going to the basic properties of the fluids, mass density, uh, so it is taken as the ratio of mass by volume, its unit is in kg per meter cube. So having the dimension m l to the power of minus 3. Then weight density, it is the ratio of weight by volume. So that is uh, taken as mass density into g. So that is rho into g. Weight density w is uh, written as rho into g. Then specific gravity, it is the ratio of density of the given substance to density of the standard uh, uh, fluid, so that is water. Since uh, the numerator gets cancelled with denominator, specific gravity is a number having no units. Then specific volume, so it is the ratio of volume by mass. So it is uh, the reciprocal of mass density taken as 1 by rho. So it, uh, its unit is volume is in meter cube, uh, mass is in kgs. Then temperature, so temperature is one of the thermodynamic property which determines the state of hotness or coldness of the fluid. So it is measured in terms of Kelvin, Celsius or Fahrenheit. So uh, the 
sketch here shows that uh, the velo the viscosity decreases as the uh, temperature increases for uh, fluids because uh, the molecules which are uh, very uh, packed closely before heating uh, so after heating uh, so the distance between the molecules increases so uh, the viscosity decreases but it is the reverse in case of gases so before heating uh, the molecules which are uh, haphazardly placed randomly so they come closer to each other after heating so their viscosity increases now the pressure the pressure of the fluid is given as uh, the ratio of force by area so small p is the pressure so it is the ratio of force by area so it is n m to the power of minus 2 so the primary dimensions and the uh, secondary dimensions what uh, we discussed earlier are uh, summarized here so angular velocity the work done power uh, specific mass or the mass density specific weight or the weight density so they are tabulated here